I'm Danika from All Areas Speech Pathology and today we're going to add some keyword signs to this story. So when we're using keyword signing, we are using an English grammar. So we're following the words like the story. Our voice is turned on, so we're speaking at the same time. And we're using slow, simplified speech. Let's see. What's the title of the book? It's called Wow Said the Owl. Now there are three variations that I know for the sign for wow. You might say wow. There's this one, make a W, wow. Or you might see it done like a really big wow, like your jaw is dropping, wow. I'm going to use this one today in a story. Wow. And the sign for owl, make two thumbs, like a good shape, and draw a circle around your eye. Wow, said the owl. Let's see who is the author. Who wrote the book? Oh, it's tricky to see this one. Tim Hopgood, his name is, I think. It's written in scrawly writing. His name is Tim Hopgood. Let's spell that. Tim Hopgood. Or you might sign Tim Hopgood. And I think maybe it's the same illustrator. Wow, said the owl. At night, when we are feeling tired oh, and ready for bed, owls are just waking up. That's when their playtime starts. Owls live in a nighttime world. They have eyes that can see in the dark. But this little owl was a curious owl. Instead of staying awake all night, as little owls are supposed to do, she took a long nap or a long sleep and woke up just before dawn, sunrise. I think she's back to front, isn't she? She's all opposite. Wow, said the owl. She couldn't believe her eyes. The sky was warm and wonderful pink. Wow, said the owl, as the yellow sun shone through the morning mist. Can you remember these words? Wow, said the owl, as white fluffy clouds floated across the bright blue or blue sky. Again, you ready? Wow, said the owl, when she saw the leaves on the tree were green or green. There's lots of colours in this story, isn't it? What colour is this? Wow, said the owl, as the pretty red, or red, butterflies flew by. That's a really beautiful sign, but it can be tricky to do. You ready? Take two hands, turn them around, cross them over. There's your butterfly wings. <gasps> she watched them land on the bright orange 
flowers or flowers which opened up in the warm sunshine. Up in the sky, the clouds turned grey and it started to rain, but the sun was still shining. Wow, said the owl, as a beautiful rainbow filled the sky with colour. The little owl sat happily in her tree and watched as the sun went down. Sunset. And the moon came up. The daytime is full of beautiful colours, she thought. But, wow, said the owl, the nighttime stars are the most beautiful of all. Too excited to sleep, the little owl stayed awake all night long just like little owls are supposed to do. And at the end, look, we've got some, a summary of all the colors that we saw. All these wonderful colors can be found in this book. Look through the pages and see if you can see them. What was this color? Yellow. This one, you've got a southern green and a northern green. What's this one? Blue, we've got a southern blue and a northern blue. What's this one? It's dark blue or dark blue. What's this one? It's violet or purple. What's this one? That one's gray. What's this one down here? It's white. What's this one over here? Pink. Two more to go. What's this one? We've got a southern red and a northern red. And lucky last, what's this colour? Orange. Lots of great or fun ways to learn some colours or signs that go along with the colours. And we're reading, wow, said the owl, where he got to see all of those beautiful colours throughout the day. Thanks for joining us today for Story of the Week. I hope you enjoyed listening while we added some keyword signs to the story. So individual signs, slow, simplified speech and focusing on the key message or the main thing that we're trying to share. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you next time. Bye.